Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at my entire New Balance collection as of the end of the year 2021. So uh, I got into New Balance sneakers uh, near the middle of the year 2020, um, during the heart of when the pandemic hit. And um, I also started my YouTube channel um, around that time back then as well. So um, I think it's going to be really interesting to look at all my pairs I've acquired over the years. Obviously, I've um, bought a lot, I've sold a few, so it's not literally every New Balance I've ever owned, but um, I, uh, I definitely have way too many New Balance sneakers. Before we get into the video, be sure to be following me on my Instagram, um, I'll throw my handle up right here, and also I just made a Patreon account, and um, if you really, really want to support me further, um, you can check out my Patreon, and it starts as, at as low as a dollar per month. Um, obviously, um, it's a big ask to ask for your hard-earned money to just support some random sneaker YouTuber like me, but um, every little bit counts and it can, it'll go towards um, uh, more uh, acquisition of product, um, better equipment purchases, and uh, making videos that weren't possible. And uh, I know that that money could be going to more New Balance sneakers for your own collection, but um, if you're feeling really generous, you can, it's really appreciated. So first, I'm gonna go over the two work sneakers in my collection. The first sneaker is um, a pair of New Balance 806 V1s. Uh, these shoes utilize fresh foam as well as a non-slip outsole, and um, these are excellent. They're also, uh, I wouldn't call waterproof, more like water resistant, like the outer of the shoe, um, it isn't like mesh or suede obviously, but it's like if I were to splash water on this, the water would just go off. Obviously they are very dirty. Um, my two work shoes are definitely my most worn shoes in my collection. Um, and yeah, this shoe is really worn and uh, I usually wear this whenever I'm in um, like an indoor environment where there's like a lot of water like there's a dishwater, a dishwashing area, and um, a lot of spills could happen. And yeah, this is overall a really great um, work shoe. If you're working in a restaurant environment, this is a great work shoe for sure. And the next work shoe in my collection is um, my most recent work shoe pickup, and that is the 990v5 in the triple black colorway. Honestly, I'm not. I'm surprised it took me this long to uh, get a pair of Made in USA 990s um, as my work shoes. I mean, all that really uh, matters for my uniform attire is that the shoes are all black and they don't look too crazy. So these were definitely perfect, and uh, I've been wearing them um, almost all the time at work uh, for a while now, and uh, they've been excellent. 990 V5 is definitely one of the best shoes that you can bless your feet with. Next, we're going to take a look at all of my non-made New Balance pairs. First off, we have um, my only pair of 5740s, and that is in this burgundy and um, kind of like lava colorway. Um, this is actually a woman's colorway. I thought this was really fire. Um, despite it being a woman's colorway, um, it still came in uh, my size 9.5 and uh, I was able to pull the trigger. And yeah, overall, definitely a really fire colorway for the 5740. Next up is surprisingly my only pair of 574s, and that is the 574 Unending Grade A pair. This, in my opinion, was a really big uh, sleeper release of 2021. Uh, I thought this shoe was criminally underrated. Um, I absolutely love um, the Missing N logo, and uh, the quality on this shoe is next level, especially for a sub $100 um, Asian-made New Balance pair. Yeah, overall, an excellent pair. Next up is one of my favorite pairs of 2021, and that is the New Balance Salehi Bembry 574 Yurts. Man, this shoe is really crazy. Um, it was a little controversial. It's definitely not a shoe for everyone, but hey, I mean, as a whistle on it. Next up is my other pair of Salehi Bembry collaboration shoes, and that is the Water Be The Guy 2002 Rs. This was my, hands down, my favorite collaboration of 2021. I love the hairy suede, uh, the hairy teal suede on these, uh, the premium leathers used. Um, despite it being an Asian made pair, uh, the suedes and the leathers felt excellent, and I love the, the color combination on this shoe. Definitely an excellent collaboration. Next up, we have a pair of RC1300s in the workwear color. 
This is a very solid pair of RC1300s, a very clean, neutral colorway, great for the fall time. Moving on to my other pair of RC1300s, this pair is a collaboration with Kith, and it's in the Antler colorway. These released alongside two other colorways as part of a Kith 10-year anniversary pack, and man, Ronnie Feig killed it with this collaboration. Uh, the colors used and um, the, despite it being Asian made, uh, the suede used on this felt excellent. I love all the small little premium details um, utilized by Kith on this and yeah, a very fire collaboration. Next up is an old pair of 997S's in the blue oak colorway. This was one of my earlier pair of New Balance sneakers. Um, one of the, the silhouettes that really got me into New Balances was uh, the 997S, mostly due to the Bodega collaborations. And when I saw this uh, colorway on New Balance's site for such a low price and such a fire colorway, I knew I needed to have it. The next non-made 997S in my collection is the Bodega Better Days Ahead collaboration. This collaboration is so fire and it was an excellent end to uh, the Bodega 997S trilogy. And man, the colorway is excellent. The materials used on these um, are also excellent. Next up is one of two of my X racers, and this X racer is in the Mirage colorway. This colorway is super fire. I think I managed to grab these on a sale um, like last year or the year before. And a very awesome colorway. Um, some people uh, have called them a Spyro colorway and after I heard that um, I definitely can't deny it. It looks like um, Spyro the Dragon but um, yeah the X Racer is actually an excellent trail shoe. I mean it was made for the trails kind of but uh, back when these were more in stock and they were listed in the lifestyle area but um, I've hiked with these with friends and um, yeah they've held up well they've they're great on the terrain and yeah they're also really comfortable so yeah a great colorway for an excellent trail shoe the next pair of X racers I have is actually a collaboration with both staple pigeon and Atmos when I saw this colorway I knew I needed to have it I mean this colorway is just so fire it's like a gradient from black all the way to white to pink uh, man, the Staple Pigeon colorways are really fire. Obviously, Staple Pigeon, um, uh, this isn't their first time collaborating with New Balance, nor has it been on just for any sneaker at all. But yeah, it's a very fire colorway. Um, I love the hits of pink, black, and gray, um, kind of like the Pigeon colorways. And yeah, it's also what's also interesting about the shoe is that it actually has fur on the tongue. So in a way, it's almost like the shoe kind of sheds, which is a little annoying, but also kind of funny as well. Next up is a pair of 327s in the navy red colorway. The 327 was definitely my favorite new silhouette of 2020 and this navy red colorway really made me love the silhouette. Not just because it's a clean colorway that can go with a lot of outfits, but because the suede's used on these are excellent, especially for a sub 100 Asian made New Balance shoe. In my original review of these, uh, I said that if you blindfolded me and just handed me this shoe and uh, if I didn't really know what the silhouette was, um, you could have fooled me and told me that it was a main USA shoe because of how well the suede feels in hand. The suede's used on these are excellent and the silhouette, uh, I mean, I love this 70s inspired design and the ribbed outsole and the gum, the gum outsole in combination with the classy colors of navy and red just go so well together. Next up, we have a pair of 327s in the Kawhi Leonard Jolly Rancher collaboration pack. This released alongside two New Balance Kawhi Jolly Rancher colorways, as well as a pair of slides and I think um, a 480. But um, obviously back then, this was when the 327 hype was still there and I decided to grab these uh, from the pack. This is definitely a very bold and loud colorway, especially with the sour out apple outsole and the lemon laces, and as well as some Jolly Rancher hits on the back. But yeah, this colorway is very fun and and crazy. I don't wear it that often because of how, how bold it is, but it's definitely a fun pair in my collection. Next up is one of my favorite collaborations from 2021, and that's the Casablanca 237 in the Monogram Pack. 
Casablanca has been a prolific collaborator with New Balance and they absolutely killed it with this 237 in the monogram pack. I absolutely love the monogram design. It gives it a really luxurious vibe. Um, they did a 327 as well and, and they also did uh, uh, this monogram pattern on um, another pack where it's more red, but I picked up uh, this green and pink and white colorway and this shoe is so great in the summer and it's a definitely um, a very luxurious shoe and despite it being um, an Asian made pair, they used excellent quality materials. Next up is another Casablanca collaboration and my only pair of XC72s in um, the red and yellow colorway. Some people say that this is like the DHL colorway since DHL uses red and yellow and I thought that was kind of funny. But uh, yeah, the XC72 was a new silhouette um, re that released um, mid to late uh, 2021 and uh, it honestly it hasn't really found that much success especially with the Casablanca litmus test. I mean uh, this collaboration uh, released before any GR XC72 came out and it sat on shelves and I was actually man I actually managed to grab these uh, during a Black Friday deal. Um, I personally really like it. I think it's um, more comfortable than I expected and the Casablanca collab obviously utilizes more premium materials and yeah definitely a sleeper silhouette of 2021. Next up is in my opinion another sleeper silhouette of 2021 and that is the, the 725 in the white navy and yellow colorway. I say it's a sleeper release but um, I haven't really worn this ever since I first got them but I definitely need to. I mean in my original review um, uh, I said that these were actually really comfortable um, at, and definitely more than I expected. I mean, they have absorb, but I think uh, the combination of the thick absorb midsole as well as a good outsole traction pattern makes it a really comfortable shoe. And uh, honestly, this really encapsulate, uh, encapsulates a lot of what New Balance is. is. It's like ret a retro dad runner shoe in um, a very clean colorway and yeah. Um, that review actually has done really well. It's still gaining a lot of views and uh, yeah, definitely a very interesting silhouette. The next shoe on this list is another um, underrated collaboration in my opinion and that is the Fuel Cell RC Elite V2 Stone Island collaboration. When this collaboration was first revealed, a lot of people were disappointed or disliked it, but I personally really liked it when it first released, and I'm glad I managed to grab these for close to retail because this is a very low-key heat type of shoe. Uh, I love the off-white color, and I love the red hits of New Balance and Stone Island branding, and I love the kind of distressed end logo on here and how it's inspired by the 574. It's uh, definitely a very interesting shoe. I think Stone Island also should have made an all black version of this shoe, um, also with the red accents, and I think that might have done better. But right now, what they gave us, um, I think it was an excellent collab. Next up in my collection is my first ever pair of New Balance 550s. This 550 is in the white and varsity red colorway, and uh, this is a, a very classic colorway. Um, Obviously, ALD did a collaboration in basically the same colorway, it, save for like their branding around the shoe and kind of an aged midsole. But this GR version, um, it unfortunately never um, released in the US. Um, but I, I managed to grab these for a good price back when they initially came out. And uh, this shoe is, um, the review of this shoe is my most viewed video of all time as of making this video. And man, it's crazy how far my collection has come since that video and how popular the 550 has become. Man, this, this colorway is very fire and um, yeah, I really love this shoe. Next up is the 550 in the navy and yellow colorway. Navy and yellow is definitely um, um, a quintessential basketball shoe colorway uh, in the basketball sneaker world and it looks excellent on the 550 and it was definitely one of my favorite general release colorways of 2021. And the last pair of 550s in my collection is the white and varsity gold colorway. This released alongside two other colorways, uh, but I personally liked uh, the shade of Varsity Gold on this pair. And yeah, it's a very clean shoe. I love how the mudguard uses suede instead of just hard leather. And yeah, definitely one of my favorite GRs of 2021. And last, but most definitely not least, in my non-made New Balance collection 
are these BB800 OG basketball shoes in the Lakers colorway. I managed to find these uh, in this condition um, without box for an absolute steal price off of Depop from a vintage seller. And man, these are definitely one of my favorite pickups. I mean, it's a high top New Balance basketball shoe. Uh, they might be bringing them back uh, in 2022 in the 650. I know the ALD pairs will be shipping soon in 2022, but as of right now, the BB800, um, there's no news on it being retroed, and I'm definitely happy to have these OG pairs in my collection, despite them being two sizes too big. Next, we're gonna move on to my Made in UK pairs. First up in my Made in UK collection are a pair of 1500s in the purple salt colorway. This is a very simple and clean colorway of the 1500 model, and I absolutely love the shade of purple on this shoe. Uh, the Made in UK quality is excellent, and actually I think this was my first ever pair of Made in UK shoes, which is very cool because uh, this pair, this colorway is actually quite old and quite rare, and I managed to get these used in the aftermarket for an absolute steal price. Next up is a pair of 920s in the multicolor colorway. I got these a while back. Um, actually, I think I reviewed these uh, near the start of my channel. And uh, yeah, definitely a very loud colorway. Um, I actually used to wear these to work when I worked retail and uh, I would receive a lot of compliments on these shoes. And the last pair of Made in UK shoes in my collection are these 577s in the desaturated colorway. This is uh, one of those uh, kind of low-key heat colorways. Uh, at the front of the shoe, it's mostly earth tones and neutral tones, but at the back, you get those nice bold hits of orange and purple, and uh, man, that really completes the shoe. And uh, it was a very fire GR colorway, and it definitely made my top 20 of 2021. And now we're gonna move on to my favorite category of my collection, and those are the Made in USA pairs. First up are the 1300s in the ALD Green collaboration colorway. These were my first ever pair of 1300s, and uh, this ALD collab was super fire. Uh, the hairy suede used on these were excellent. I loved the aged cream colors around the shoe, and I absolutely loved how these initially released through a pre-order system. I really hope Teddy Santis brings that pre-order system uh, more often to New Balance in 2022 now that he's head of Made in USA. Next up are my only pair of 997s, and those are the 997 in the pastel colorway. I managed to grab these uh, at Black Friday last year during a sale at Lapstone and & Hammer, and uh, man, that was an absolute steal because this colorway is so fire, it's so great in the spring and summer, and getting any Made in USA pair for below retail is always a win. Next up are a pair of 997S's that were made in the USA, and that is the Baited colorway. This colorway is so fire, it's very loud and very bold, but the clash and combination of colors uh, just works, and um, it's an excellent shoe for the summer, and I was so ecstatic to find these for steel price with box on Mercari, and I am very happy to have these Fire Main USA 997S's in my collection. Next up are my only pair of 993's, and those are the Susan G. Komen pink colorways. I don't know what it is with New Balance and pink, but they always kill it with the shades of pinks used on their shoes. And uh, this shoe is no different. Uh, the shade of pink on these 993s are excellent, and it works very well with the gray uh, hits of Nubuck around the shoe. And uh, this was um, a woman's colorway, but thankfully I was finally able to find uh, my size on the aftermarket. Next, we have the 992 in the gray, blue, and teal colorway. This was in my top two of my top 20 general release colorways of 2021. And uh, the reason why was because I would grab this shoe a lot. The, despite this uh, colorway having a lot of different colors on it, uh, it worked so well with so many different outfits and I would be grabbing this shoe a lot. And uh, the 992 is definitely one of my favorite silhouettes from New Balance. Uh, it's a shame that uh, they're vaulting it um, in 2022, but uh, they really sent it off with a bunch of great collaborations and general release colorways. The next 992 in my collection are the Concepts Low Hanging Fruit collaboration. 
As you can tell, this shoe mimics the colors of that, that of a kiwi fruit, and uh, man, this collaboration was excellent. I really love the hairy suede used on these, and uh, the kiwi green accents around the end logo, the lace eyelets, and the midsole, as well as the strawberry insoles. Uh, Concepts definitely killed it on the 992 collab. Next up in my 992 collection are these beater pair of classic gray 992s. Uh, I remember getting these for a very low price off of eBay. I just really wanted a classic gray pair of 992s. Uh, I was able to get a few wears out of these. Unfortunately, the midsole uh, actually started to crack and crumble. So now these are more of a collector's piece for me. But um, yeah, def still definitely a very fire pair in my collection and uh, um, a, an excellent keepscape. And last but most definitely not least in my 992 collection are these burgundy and yellow 992s. This was my favorite general release of 2021. And despite it being kind of a simple colorway, uh, this shoe uh, was a shoe that I would grab almost all the time when putting together outfits. Man, this colorway works um, with so many outfits. It also works in almost every season. I mean, for the fall, um, I mean, burgundy is a nice fall colorway, but uh, the bright yellow also works well in like the summer and spring. And it's also kind of a, it's almost a kind of low key shoe for the winter as well. Uh, here in San Diego, uh, we don't have uh, as much gloomy weather as other places. So yeah, this shoe um, works year round for me and was definitely worthy of getting the number one spot on my top 20 GR pairs of 2021. Next up is actually my first ever pair of New Balance sneakers, and that is the 998 in the fishing blue colorway. This was the pair that really started my New Balance addiction. Uh, this, this, it, it's a very simple shoe at first glance, but once you look at it further and examine the details, um, you really start to love it. Uh, the perforated uh, suede on the toe box instead of um, the standard mesh material, uh, the 3M reflective fish scale material around the shoe, as well as on the end logo is so fire. And man, despite this being um, my first pair of New Balances, this is still one of my favorite pairs in my collection. And the last pair of 998s in my collection are the Made Responsibly 998s. As you can tell, I got a Laker colorway, and what was really special about the Made Responsibly release was that uh, every pair was unique and was made of leftover uh, scrap materials that would have otherwise been thrown out. Um, and I think it was a really cool concept. I was really disappointed that they raised the price back to full price instead of giving you a discount since it was random, but still a cool release nonetheless, and I was really happy with um, the pair that I received. And rounding off my collection are my pair of 990s, starting with my only pair of 990 V1s, uh, the version series edition. I was really ecstatic to see that New Balance was releasing a 990 V1 and not just that, but in a special edition version series alongside uh, the other three uh, numbered models. Man, this shoe is an absolute classic. Um, it was the first shoe to utilize end cap and it helped uh, spawn so many excellent, comfortable New Balance models. And uh, it also started off the trend of being made in the USA. Definitely um, a quintessential pair to my collection. Next up is a pair of 990 V2s in a simple black and white colorway. This was actually my first pair of 990 V2s. And uh, yeah, it, there's nothing much to say about it. It's a very simple and classic colorway, black and white, goes with every outfit and a very solid pair. Next up are one of the hottest GR colorways of 2021, and that is the 990 V2 in the gray with tan multicolor colorway. Uh, it, this shoe utilizes many different colors on a mostly uh, neutral base, but they just work so well together. And uh, if you told me this a was a collaboration with some like high-end brand, uh, I would have believed you because of how far this colorway is. Definitely an excellent pair in my collection. Next up are a pair of 990 V3s in the Kith Genesis colorway. This was another uh, Kith exclusive colorway. There are no Kith branding around it, but I think uh, Ronnie Feig mostly played with the color palette, and this is definitely um, a very versatile and clean shoe. 
Next up are a pair of 990 V3s in the bread winterized colorway. These released alongside a 990 V2 in a black and blue winterized colorway. And what's special about th these two pairs is that uh, they utilize 3M thin slit technology instead of mesh to keep the shoe a bit more uh, water resistant as well as keep your feet a bit warmer. And uh, black and red isn't um, a typical New Balance colorway, so I was really excited to see them making a V3 in a bread colorway. Colorway. Next up are the 990 V3s in the black, green, and yellow colorway. Definitely another fire GR of 2021. Unfortunately, these are a little hard to get right now for retail, but if you manage to get them for retail, I definitely recommend pulling the trigger because this is a very fire colorway. Next up are my only pair of 990 V4s, and uh, they are simply in the classic gray Castle Rock colorway. 990 V4 is a very solid and comfortable shoe, and it looks excellent in the classic gray colorway. Next up are a pair of 990 V4s, fives in the popsicle colorway. This was yet another fire GR of 2021 and I was really excited to get these for below retail on sale during Black Friday and uh, man the 990 v5 doesn't get enough love they don't have um, as many uh, collaborations or gr colorways compared to the other 99x models but uh, thankfully for the few colorways that it does get um, they end up being very fire and finally the last pair in my collection are a pair of 990 v5s in the gray castle rock colorway worn by supermodels in london and dads in ohio this shoe really is for everyone and uh, it's in the classic gray colorway. It is one of the most comfortable shoes you can bless your feet with. And yeah, definitely a quintessential pair for any New Balance collection. And that is my entire New Balance collection. I have way more New Balances than anyone would ever need. Oh, what do you guys think of my collection? Uh, what's your favorite pair from the collection? Uh, what's a, a grail pair that you think I should add to my collection? Uh, let me know in the comments. I know I have a lot of New Balance sneakers. Uh, what are, how, how big are your guys' collections? I'd like to see some discussion in the comments. Uh, I really love this community a lot and um, uh, I think it's very evident in the size of my collection. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, check out my Instagram and Patreon if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in 2022.